你好，我是应敏老师。Today I'm going to teach you some of the most common and useful major words in Chinese by explaining you the logic of each of them. First major word, ba, a very commonly used one. It's for objects that can be grasped like this, or objects with a handle, like 一把牙刷 a toothbrush, or 一把勺子 a spoon. Ba itself is a verb, meaning grasp, hold tight. Then it extended to the meaning of a handle. So we can see this character in words as 门把手 It means door handle. 门把手 or 拖把 means mop. 拖把 which has a big handle we grasp when we use it. Ba. So that's why ba is chosen as a major word for objects with a handle or objects that we can grasp to be more expressive, like 一把椅子 a chair, because we grasp, we hold the back of the chair. 一把椅子一把椅子 or 一把伞 a umbrella, which we hold the handle. 一把伞 or 一把刀 a knife. 一把刀 or 一把手枪 a pistol, a gun. 一把手枪 You can take a screenshot now to review the usage of this major word later. 把 A lot of you guys left comments under my videos saying that my videos helped greatly to improve your vocabulary. Well, I'm so happy to see all these positive feedbacks. You know, if you want to grow your vocabulary more systematically, more fast, and with fun, you can also use our special Imin Chinese flashcards with colorful and beautiful designs. Instant download after the purchase. You will find the link of the cards down below in the description box. Next major word is Tai. Tai. It's a major word for things like a set of equipment or machinery, like 一台电脑 a computer, 一台电脑 So 台 itself it means platform or stage. So we can see this character in words such as 舞台 a performance stage, like in a concert, 舞台 or 阳台 It means balcony, 阳台 or 台阶 It means stairs, 台阶 So that's why we use 台 as a major word for things that have form, have shape as a platform or a stage to describe the things more vividly. 一台电视 a TV set, 一台电视一台电脑 a computer. 一台电脑，哦，一台机器 ，a machine， 一台机器，一台相机 ，a camera， 一台相机。Next major word is 条，条。This is major word for strip-shaped objects, long, slim things, like 一条蛇 ，a snake. Because it's long, slim, 一条蛇 So 条 itself is a noun, meaning long, slim object. You can see it in words such as 面条 I'm sure you know it. Noodles, 面条 because it's long, slim, 面条 And the word 条纹 it means a stripe, like the stripes on your clothes or in some flag of some countries. It's 条纹，条纹 ，and、uh, the word 苗条 it means slim, thin, 苗条啊。Uh, 比如说，她的身材很苗条 ，it means she has a slim figure. 她的身材很苗条 ，or just 她很苗条。So、anyway, that meaning of 条 long, slim object, and that's why. We use it as major word for long, slim object or strip-shaped objects, like 一条蛇 a snake, 一条蛇 
or 一条鱼 a fish. 一条鱼 or 一条河 a river. 一条河 or 一条路 a road, a street. 一条路 Did you know that 条 is also a special word for legs? So a leg is 一条腿一条腿 It's long, slim. Also, it's a major word for pants. So a pair of pants in Chinese is 一条裤子 Instead of a pair of pants, we say 一条裤子 To emphasize the characteristics of long and slim. Okay, next major word, 位 That is a major word for people, but in a formal, polite. And respectful way, like 一位教授 a professor, 一位教授 So 位 itself it means position or status. So we can see it in words such as 座位 means seat, 座位 or the word 社会地位 it means social status, 社会地位 or 职位 it means job title. 职位 So that's why we use "wei" as a major word for people in a more formal, polite, and respectful way. 一位老师 a teacher. 一位老师 is much more polite than 一个老师 Or 这位先生 means this gentleman. 先生 means gentleman or sir. 这位先生 or 三位客人 three guests. 三位客人 That is all the content for today's lesson about major words. I hope the explanations about the original meanings of the major words help you to have a better understanding of these words and help you to remember them more easily. So next time when you learn a new major word, try to check its original meaning or the normal meaning in other words that it forms. I'm sure you'll find that it makes more sense why and how it's used as a major word. Anyway, that's all for today. 谢谢你收看我的视频，我们下次再见。Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. 再见。